Welcome to Security Check and the la last matchup of the first round. Yeah. Right? Uh, where the new yellow vaccine deck takes on the Imperial Dramon. With uh, the new Vimon and the new Imperial Dramon Ace. Uh, all these uh, matches before semifinals are best of one. So and anything can happen. We yeah. have seen that yeah. in the <laughs> earlier matches. <laughs> earlier games, actually. Yeah. Maybe. So, uh, yeah, remember to like and subscribe. Check out the Blockhouse Games link down in the description and all that good shit. Help us get to the thousand subscribers before this series ends. Yeah. Hope. That's what we hope. Before the year ends and before this tournament ends. Do not let that be. Just hope you. <laughs> The yellow vaccine, as we talked in like the Four Great Dragons game earlier, it's so fun to play. I really do enjoy it. I played it uh, in our or, first BT14. Or, or more like the new vaccine stuff is fun to play. Yeah. I, I used it must used it in Mustamon, we yeah. used it in Four Great Dragons, and here is the dedicated yellow vaccine yeah. deck. I played this exact deck in our first or second uh it, it was second uh weeklies of the BT14. Uh, it, it sounds so ancient because <laughs> the, this video comes out like in two weeks uh, after recording. But yeah, uh, but I really do enjoy the deck. And hope, and it it gets like the more we get vaccine stuff, the more you can play with like play with the decks like yeah mess what, around. How when, would you like to build it? Yeah, you, I think you were thinking, should I kill this Vimon with this Angelmon? And I was like, why would you do that? Yeah. <laughs> It sounds so pointless. <laughs> yeah, but, but I get to recover and yeah. uh, get one threat out of the board, but <laughs> now I get to add <laughs> a second Leomon to security. They're all there. Uh, in the, I'm, I'm not sure if there's already... Have I checked my security? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, no, you haven't. No, no, no. You haven't checked the whole security. You have seen okay. like the. You have uh, taken cards from yeah. there. But there is at least two. And here I made a, a <laughs> total misplay because I actually forgot ace cards <laughs> exist. Yeah. And this is one of those really good <laughs> ace cards. Yeah. Then I'm counting my security uh, that if I can recover a uh, kill of the. Yeah, XV because one. I did take the sting one last turn, so I could have just. Played the Stingmon and then used the end of turn DNA Digivolution to go to Peldramon and just bottom deck the Ingemon. Yeah. So that was one of those situations where I'm like, oh, fun. <laughs> yeah. But this is the thing that I've had problems now that we've gone to the BT14 meta a bit. I I can't get used to the fact that there are effects that can come out that I don't see on the board. Yeah. Like, if I attack, I'm so used to in Digimon that I can see all the effects that can can happen on the field, but now it's not, like, yeah. given anymore. Now you have to take note of what level Digimon your opponent have. And, and what, what ace cards are available to yeah. uh, your opponent to use. Yes. Uh, it's a, a different game nowadays. Yeah. But I really do enjoy how the game is evolving. Uh, maybe not the fastest of the fastest meta decks, but uh, but the aces are here to slow down the meta decks. So that's 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 something good. Yeah, and we are going to have so many aces coming in like future sets too. So it's like... yeah, in BT15 uh, when we get the LM01 cards, we will have like five plus so not five plus four aces, <laughs> so nine aces. Yeah, and then it, there, we know that there will be aces in like BT16 and BT, and I think EX. Uh, well, EX5 doesn't. Oh, EX5 does have. The, oh yeah, 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 yeah. The, the sovereigns. Sovereigns. Yeah. sovereigns. Yeah. So there will be so many. Yeah. So many of these ace cards. But I, I do enjoy it. Yeah, yeah. I it just needs. I just need to get used to it. Yeah. I'm still uh, like forgetting it too too many times. Yeah, that's, that can happen. Dropping yeah. more pile pale drummons. Yeah. Spoilers, I have one in hand already. <laughs> I think I think I might have even three at this point. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, dying into security. Uh, because that's 12k and my Seraphimon is 12k, then I lost the three memories from the overflow. 
Uh, that's important to remember. Then I add one card from my hand uh, to security because of the Angemon's inheritable on deletion. Oh yeah, that's a, and, that's a thing. Oh yeah, I don't. <laughs> I won't use the TKs because you have the memory center there. <laughs> it doesn't matter. <clears throat> Seven securities. Oh <laughs> and and I'm pretty sure that there is like three Leomon. <laughs> <laughs> At least two. Yeah, two I have put there by myself. Yeah. Here's a small forgetting of effects because I haven't played Imperial Ramon that much. I forget to get memory from uh, the Stingmon and XP Mon. Yep. So you should be at three and the uh, two. Uh, two, 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 two. Yeah. yeah. The Bell Ramon is bottom deck in the Angemon, uh, swinging and suspending and drawing one card from the Demi. Uh, Demi Vemon. Yeah. And it's jamming because all Imperial Ramon stuff is jamming always. Yeah. There is <laughs> the training. And here I'm I'm so sad that I have the well, it's new not new, but the uh the Imperial Ramon that came in BT BT twelve. BT yeah. twelve. I'm so sad that I have that in my hand because I would need the aggression of the starter deck Imperial Ramon here. That I could just like evolve to the pale Ramon, the pale Ramon to that, and just yeah. bring out more stuff, and try to, because you have so many securities that I need to like, I yeah. I, I need to speed things up. <laughs> but in theory, I should be at one memory. Yes, but I have five securities still, <laughs> and you have no securities, so yeah. And the new Imperial Ramon Ace is not a really good, like. Against. In, in this situation, it's a not really good defensive uh, yeah. Uh, ace. Yeah. But as, as we see, uh, because I don't just swing for the game, I don't know if I don't realize that I have game here. Or, <laughs> or I, 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 I just. I, yeah, I, I think I think you you were thinking about the Imperial Ramon ace, and I was thinking to myself, like, this does nothing but. Well, oh, yeah, I, I, yeah, well yeah. I don't say anything, and you do check out the Imperial Ramon Ace from the trash at some point yeah. and realize this does nothing. <laughs> yeah, and uh, to know this, I have Rookie in my hand, but I wanted to uh, grab the Batamon or try to grab the Batamon. So if I uh, was at one, I could just Digivolve to back with uh, some Rookie uh, and play at the 4TK from my hand. Yeah, and I have the 4TK in my hand. Yeah. <laughs> so, so technically, you couldn't you couldn't do this all of this yeah. this turn if I had played right. But then you still have the five securities, and I'm not sure if I could actually hit you what what six times <laughs> next turn. So it's like no, and there is two Leomons. Ah, yeah, right. True. So uh, I need to I need to hit like like billion times yeah because at least one of those leomons will activate i'm not sure anymore how the stack is so do yeah. they all like activate or not i'm not sure but one but of them will activate because there is three or fewer when yeah if uh both two are on top uh, when the second one is checked there is three or fewer securities yeah. so it will recover so basically i have six uh securities at least and then you should have s swung one more time yeah. yeah, there was two, <laughs> two Leomons. Yeah. So I did evolve the Imperial Ramon Ace, but it does nothing. Yeah. So. And yeah, th uh, that was a like quote unquote bigger misplay there. But the end result is still the same. You could not have uh, brought blocker because that <laughs> deck does not play blockers, and you could you could not have. Uh, swung for game because you yeah you should have the, the, big, like, the uh, biggest mistake was early on when I attacked with the Vemon yeah and, and, ju and just ran to that ace, because yeah. that game would have been different if I had actually went just went to the Pale Ramon I could I would even have kept my turn yeah because of the the memory gains and then I would have just bottom decked your Angemon and then I could get to uh, attack twice and put pressure on, yeah. on, and you don't have like immediate follow-up, so... So the biggest misplay was not the memory gain, but <laughs> yeah. it was the uh, swinging with Demon. Yeah, total forgot forgotten of uh, Ace Digimon. Yeah. So, yeah. please, people, do remember the Aces. <laughs> this was uh, the first round. 
first and round is done. Yeah, tomorrow, tomorrow we are moving to round two, and Dark Knight one will face off for Great Dragons vaccine. Which is a surprising matchup. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Back for Greymon and Ferry Logamon are watching like, what just happened? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but this is the spice and so salt and pepper <laughs> of this uh, tournament. And, and the best of ones, unfortunately. Yeah, but anything can happen. And yeah. anything but will it, happen. it gives us like interesting and fun times. Yeah, and that's the point of this. This is not any serious <laughs> competition. <laughs> this is just uh, our community playing Digimon together. Indeed. Shout out to all of the uh, Team Turku people that have uh, been playing and borrowing decks and cards and uh, would it have been possible yeah. without you? Or with billion proxies maybe, but like... <laughs> so, with our time constraints, yeah. uh, not possible without our lovely Team Turku gang. And yeah, without you, our dear subscriber, or we are, or subscriber. <laughs> New subscriber. Yeah. Uh, we hope you enjoyed the round one. Tomorrow we are moving to round two and I hope we are moving with you. Bye. Bye.